Greetings, everyone. How's everybody doing? Happy Tuesday. Tuesday is the day that Mars rules, and Mars is currently in Gemini. Mars in Gemini is an energy that really is about a lot of socializing and, you know, a busy mind and, you know, maybe like a lot of consuming information, being on social media a lot, <laughs> that kind of energy. But that's not really what I want to come and talk to um, you all about today. Um, as many of you know, because I've been working with clients for years, my work is to support women in healing. The reason I am devoted, like my life is devoted to helping women heal, is because we are the power center of life. And we don't know it. We don't function like we're the power center center of life. We function as if we are um, an adapter to someone else's power. And my belief is that the reason the world is out of whack right now, or what will actually bring the world back into alignment, is women waking up to their power and how they function. Now, if you've been following me for a while, I often talk about astrology, but with that, it's also this cosmological understanding that we are in a experience here. This is, you know, this is not about your family and friends and what food and the clothes you're wearing and how much money. This is not about that. That's the distraction. <laughs> that is the distraction. We're in a cosmic experience. And in this cosmic experience right now, we are in ending the dark ages. We have these things called the great years and they last for 25, 26,000 years. And it's a period of time that is created by the earth's relationship to the sun so depending on how the earth is on its tilt or how it's moving in its rotation in relationship to the sun that is how the light we experience the light and meaning we think that you know like right now there's the sun up in the sky right like can you see that there's the sun in the sky but that is just a projection we really are experiencing the light we're receiving light inside of our psyches that then project the energy that then draw in our experiences so everything in your life is an experience of something that's already in your subconscious that you are programmed to experience the energy of now you will choose how that experience is going to come, you know, but it's, it's, it's already in you. It's going to work out some way because the energy is there and you are a part of this cosmic shift. So we've been in the dark ages for the last 5,000 years. We're coming out of the dark ages and going into a golden age. And we are the first humans on the planet you know, there have always been humans who have been getting us ready for this, but now it's becoming a much more massive movement. Sorry, just so aware of the um, like the truck down there. It's becoming much more of a massive movement, and those of us who are doing our internal work and healing are the first line of it. And so I've been doing this work for years. I've been doing this work all my life, really, since I was three years old, because everything in the world was bullshit to me. I just didn't believe anything. Like at three, I was like, "Who? Who is this Jesus? Like, why are we doing that?" And you know, who are these present? Like, I just never resonated with any of it and was always um, aware of a feeling inside of me that said that there was something more, there was something else. And now we are in that time. Now, the question is, how do we heal? How do we actually do it? Because many of us don't realize that the healing is not about what happened between you and a former, your ex, or how you, the healing is about getting your right mind back. Everything in our culture is a lie. It is an illusion. It's, they've hijacked our energies by They've hijacked women's energies by getting us to care about romance more than we care about ourselves. 
they've hijacked our energies by getting us to care about, you know, what people think of us more than we know ourselves. And so we don't know ourselves. We don't have access to our real true power because we've been distracted by romance and things and what somebody said and what my mama did and all that kind of stuff, right? So what I have discovered in my own healing journey, which I'm in a constant experience with, but I have had some shifts in the last year or so that have changed that have shown me that I've been doing the work. Like I've had some results is what I want to say. And the thing that is the most important thing that I see, we must heal our relationships with our mothers. We must, we must. And I don't, that's individual for every person. That doesn't mean, you know, like for me, my mother was not alive any longer and I still had to heal my relationship with her because I had judgments of her and beliefs about the way she lived her life and how she treated me that kept me stuck in patterns that were holding me down. And we don't understand that judgment, you know, like people are like, oh, well, somebody did this to me, that's wrong. And, and it's so important that we under begin to conceptualize that everything that has happened in our lives has happened for us. It's happened to teach us something that we needed to know. And because we're in the dark ages, most of the lessons are hard because they are filled with shadow. And if we can accept that as a part of the thing, you know what I mean? It's like, I, I once had a friend who was a football player and his work was hard. He did not complain about it. He actually was invigorated by it. And I, I just thought it was absurd. But now I get it because when we understand that we've signed up for difficult things, we don't shy away when shit gets hard. We don't blame other people. Like, you know, he never was like, they hit me so hard. I can't believe they pushed me down. He knew he was a motherfucking football player. Of course they hit you hard and of course they put you down. And that is the dark ages. It is rigorous. It is hard. And you are made for it though. You are built for this. So I know for me, like I'm very sensitive and I can spend days. I, I, can, I could have spent my whole, I could have got my whole life could have just gotten lost in me complaining about how hard my life was because it was really fucking hard but I knew that it was teaching me something I knew that it was offering me something and so many of us have very tough relationships with our mothers and when I say heal I'm not saying go be your mother's friend that's not what I'm saying I'm saying heal your story of her like, let her be a human being. You don't have to be her friend, but let her off the hook for what she didn't do or how come she treated you a certain way or, you know, whatever it is. And letting her off the hook is not an easy thing to do, but you must find a way to do it. It's hard. And you must find a way to do it because we this world is changing and anything that you're stuck in any judgment that you're stuck in especially of the person who created you catapults and lives in your own experience so until you can free your mother you won't be free i don't i'm not saying you got to be her friend i'm not saying you have to do the things she's asking you to do i'm saying you have to treat her like a human being and not like somebody who owes you something not like somebody because whatever the lessons were those lessons are the pathway to your power to your magic to your queendom to your gifts and you can't get to that without letting your mother off the hook all right you all if you want to come and work with me um, I'd be happy to look at your astrology and help you with some coaching and some rituals to uh, help you get free from patterns that don't serve you anymore. Peace and blessings. You can check me out at healwithmoonmama.com. I love y'all. Bye-bye.